My name is Larry Clayman, as you know. I'm the founder, chairman, and general counsel of Freedom Watch, and also with Sheriff Joe Arpaio, a separate organization, America's Sheriff. You can find that at americassheriff.org, two S's in the middle. Freedom Watch at freedomwatchusa.org. Today, Governor Andrew Cuomo, ex-governor, resigned on allegations of sexual harassment and abuse. And I trust that this resignation, while obviously warranted, will not blunt the real impact of the crimes that Cuomo has committed, negligent homicide, many, many people dying in nursing homes in New York State. It reminds me of what happened with regard to Bill Clinton in the 1990s when we uncovered at Judicial Watch when I was running it. As you know, I'm the founder of Judicial Watch, that he had taken millions of dollars for his political campaign and perhaps otherwise from the communist Chinese. The same communist Chinese that have brought to us COVID-19 and now alleged variants, the Delta variant. Of course, we don't know exactly what that is at this time because the government doesn't really tell us. But the fact is, is that Monica Lewinsky and that scandal of President Clinton abusing a White House intern with, at a minimum, oral sex, that's all he would admit to, was salacious enough to draw the media away from Bill Clinton's real crimes, which was bribery from Communist China, which was illegally obtaining FBI files, misusing the Internal Revenue Service against political adversaries, firing people in the White House travel office so he could hire his friends. I could go on and on. Over 80 people died during the Clinton administration. No real investigation of that. Many of these people were material witnesses. So I trust, and I will do my best, and you have my pledge, as the Chairman and General Counsel of Freedom Watch, to pursue Andrew Cuomo for the deaths that he caused negligently in New York State with regard to nursing homes. Thousands of people died needlessly. But Derek Chauvin can get 22 years for negligent homicide with the death of George Floyd then Andrew Cuomo should get life imprisonment for his negligent homicide in New York State. That being said, we have clients. We're going to be pursuing this matter in the courts. I trust that we will find that one judge that will fairly allow this to go forward. It's good that Cuomo resigned today. He was a disgrace for New York State. Not just because of the sexual allegations, and who knows how much of that was even true, but the fact that he resigned tells you something that perhaps there was truth to it. But the bigger issue are the deaths that he caused in nursing homes, and we will be pursuing that. You have my word. God bless you. God bless your family. God save America. Remember, the Father and Son will only help us if we help ourselves. We now to have to invoke the divine providence as we did in the days leading up to our first American revolution and wage a new peaceful revolution. So go to freedomwatchusa.org with a contribution of $50 or more. You can purchase my book, It Takes a Revolution, and we'll give it to you for free. You can also get all major booksellers. I want you to read it because there are other books out there today like American Marxism by Mark Levin, which tell us what we already know, that the country's been taken over by Marxists. Now we need real peaceful and legal solutions more than just writing, more than just protesting, more than just boycotting to return this nation to the vision of our founding fathers. And one of those solutions is to have a legal system which is just, which represents all the people, which doesn't exclude the rich, powerful, and the elite. And that's exactly what we're doing at Freedom Watch. God bless you. Thank you for listening to me. I'll be back tomorrow with another YouTube broadcast on Freedom Watch TV.